Hi film guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Money Minutes. This time it's about part two, the psychology of writing and directing. Um, if you like this episode, please subscribe and please comment if you want to know more about other stuff. It's all psychology behind it, how you see the world, how you filter stuff and how you experience stuff. And the more you're aware of your feelings and um, your filters, the easier and the better it will be for you to focus focus your attention on stuff and know more about how you create art on the page or on the screen. So last week we learned about the Calm app or Headspace or whatever you want to use. And I hope you did your exercises, so to speak, and you developed a new sense how you experience the world around you. Here's a little exercise for you. Um, if you go to a new location, a new room or place, write down two sentences that characterize this location. This would be a perfect practice how you see the world and how you portray the world. Also do this for people. So write one or two sentences for people you meet, people you know, and try to pin th those, uh, those people down, you know? What makes them special? How can you describe them? Is it a jacket? Is it a smile? Is it their eyes? Is it something they say? This is a good example of how you experience the world around you, how you filter it, and how you put this on screen, how does it translate to the page. So you should use new skills, your higher self-esteem, or your access to your emotions, to um, question how you see the world and how... Um, because let's face it, the biggest aim of a writer and director is to finish a project, and finish a project, to make a good film, to write a good film. So all those little things I give you, all these advices, all help you to, you know, um, get rid of this, these mind fucks and to start your script or to end your script and finish your script or finish your film and start your film. And I found a little list uh, developed by a psychologist I'll put the article in the link below. This list consists of 20 questions. I think two or three of them are not necessary and um, I think if you use those items it will be easy for you to think about a room, to think about people, to think about your own emotions and how you portray stuff. So here we go. Are you alert to the environment around you? So what do you notice? Which details? Again, this location example, write one or two sentences down for your room, for your kitchen, um, you know, your favorite places where you go, a bar or something else. This will help you to um, become a better writer and to actively decide which details you filter, which details grab your attention and why you write something down, you know. Next thing is, are you good at following directions to specific places, which means um, you know, can you get lost? Do you enjoy getting lost? Um, will you find a way out? Are you good at memorizing stuff? How good are you when you assess other person's moods? Are you bad? Are you good? Are you right? Are you, you know, it's a 50-50 chance that you're right? Are you aware of subtle changes um, in a room? concerning furniture or color or something else. You know, what, what mood uh, does a color create? Are you attuned to how you feel, how other people feel? Are you attentive to items in other people's homes or other locations? And um, so you have an eye for detail. Are you easily distracted, maybe during a long project or a, or a short project? So you should rather work on your attention span and see how you see the world. Do you? form a quick opinion or do you, does it take you a long time? Are you confident when arriving at an unfamiliar place or in an unfamiliar situation? How do you adapt? How are other people adapt? Write this down and then you have a little Bible that you can always look up stuff, people you described, locations you described and maybe these will help you to form a great story and also question um, yourself how do you pick your themes, what's interesting, what sparks your, your interest? Um, I put a link in the description up here, how you find your themes. These are also very important hints, why you pick a certain location, how you describe people. Are you able to draw um, a picture from the, the look of a person? How do you do it? 
use those one or two sentences? Are you able to adopt another person's perspective? This is also very important if you write about certain people or different people. I need to know how they feel, what's their perspective on life. Are you attuned to scene details in a novel? Are you able to quickly estimate the number of people in a room? Are you alert to what people are wearing? Are you aware of your thoughts when you're stuck? What are your thoughts when you're stuck? I put a link up here about writer's block because this is also something psychological. Are you alert to subtle sounds around you? This is also a nice exercise. Write a sentence down for the sound of a location. Which sounds would describe your best friend? Or which sound would describe a bakery? Which sound would describe a garden? And then you can work your way up. In the end, you have a really, really big Bible, I call it, uh, where you have lots of character observations, look, um, lots of rooms and um, locations you observed, and you have a lot small Bible, and you can see why you pick someone, why is someone interesting, why is the location interesting, and you can use this to be a better writer and to see behind the psychology why you're writing stuff, why you're directing stuff, why you're choosing some, uh, why you're picking some clothes to wear for a person or to speak in a certain accent. So that's been it for today. Thank you very much for watching and listening and see you guys next week.